Good morning, this is Tammy. I'm coming to you from Kennewick, Washington. Um, today I'm going to finish the card I started yesterday. Um, but before I get into that, um, I wanted to let you know that the Butterfly Bouquet is now available to order. Um, it's a very beautiful set. Um, this is one of the butterflies out of it. You can order just a bundle. Or you can order just the stamps or just the dies. Um, if you order it in the suite of products, you get um, this gorgeous paper. There's 48 sheets, and um, this designer's, or uh, not designer, but uh, specialty paper, and it's like um, a wood grain paper if you buy it in the bundle. Um, or you can buy them separate too. And this stamp and die set does require the big boss in order to cut it because that this die is one large die. And then um, the stamp, the best thing to do is get the stamp apparatus because it's such a big stamp and you don't want to make any mistakes with it. Um, anyway, so that's one thing I wanted to tell you, and if you are interested in Paper Pumpkin, this will be the one that will be delivered after the 10th of March. Um, it's got a couple of extra things in it besides everything that you need to do the stamps. Um, and you need to get these ordered before March 10th if you want to get this one. Um, and sign up for the paper pumpkins. Um, I've really enjoyed them, um, getting them. So anyway, there's that. So now we'll get into the card that I'm going to finish today. And it's kind of got a little bit of a fun fold for the inside. Um, I want to tell you everything that I used for the inside of the card, starting with, um, the blender markers. Um, I used uh, the set of uh, cider. Um, I used, um, let's see, I think Calypso Coral, both dark and light. I used um, so saffron light daffodil dark I used crumb cake dark and light I used um, dark soft and light soft suede I also used poppy parade um, blackberry bliss and then I used um, it's called a color lifter on some of it so those are what I use to color my chicks with. Um, the chick or the stamp bundle, uh, the Hey Birthday Chick bundle is what I used. Um, it's $43 for the stamps and the dies. And um, this is the stamps. And then I put my dies with them. And these are the dies that happen to come with this one. If you happen to have the 2017 Hey Chick bundle, they now have a die set for it. Um, I don't know if you can see real well the dies that come with it, but there's a chicken coop and a chicken fence and some corn and corn cobs. Um, it's a really cute little die set that goes with that. And you can also find the stamp set on page, um, the Hey Birthday Chick stamp set only on page 52 of the mini catalog. And I also use the mini cut and boss machine, which looks like this. She's very small, very lightweight, and the dies for this set actually fit in there quite well. As you can see, that's one of the die cuts there. So, um, And it can be found on page 74 of the mini catalog or on page 170 of the annual catalog. I also used my trimmer for cutting the base. I'm also going to use 
um, in this card, the Shaded Spruce ink pad. <clears throat> okay, so this is a little bit of a fun fold. Um, in case you make a mistake on a white card base, you can always add something like this that I'm going to put on the inside. But right now, since it's dark, I'm using Seafoam Green for my inside. And I cut this at, um, let me see my measurements here. Is it five by three and three quarter? Where's my ruler? Um, it is cut at five and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Yeah, for the inside. And um, I folded and scored it at, um, I want to say the four inch, yeah, the well, four and an one eighth mark. And then I took my ruler and from one of the corners I measured down to, it looks like two and um, three quarter, not quite three, two, but two and five eighths down, I put a little niche there, and then on the next corner, down from the corner, I went to two and a half. From there, I went to my um, trimmer, and using the scoring thing, I scored it from these two little marks, and then um, they'll be hidden, so you don't have to, if you use a pencil or a pen, they'll be hidden, so you won't be seeing them. And then I just simply folded it, make sure my edges are even, and then I used my bone folder to crease down. That's how I made that. And then I made a template and I accidentally cut some pieces out of it. But I just mostly want this corner piece that went right here. I think it's that one. Okay. And I took my paper that I'm going to put on the top and I cut that corner off. Now, from here, I used this as my base, and then I cut this a quarter of an inch smaller, and then I just used the corner out of the base to trim that. And then I took this piece, which, as you can tell now, it is smaller than um, that. I just took an extra quarter of an inch off of this side right here. Make sure it's the shorter side that you're taking that off of. Um, and was able to get this so it's going to fit in here just like this. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down with my glue. Try and get it in there as straight as I can. Okay. And I'm not using very much glue because I don't want to ooze it out. And then I'm going to align this one with my edges. Try and get it as straight as I can. Now I opted not to put anything on this side because this side I'm going to stamp and write on. But I'm going to put this cute little dancing chicken right there. But I'm going to use something called a wobble on this. You can find these at Amazon. Um, and they're just little little things here that will make my chicken wobble. So, and I don't know which side goes where, but just put this on the back of her. Nobody's going to see it. Put it down and then take off well, attempt to take off. Use my take your pick tool. There we go. Get 
add adhesive off that side. Easier said than done. Okay, so I'm going to take my cute little dancing chicken and I'm going to put her just about right there. And yeah, it's okay. It'll go through your mail with no problem. I haven't got too much going on with this card, um, really. Okay, so is what's unique about this is this is going to be a pop-up. And I'm going to take this little chicken here, and I'm going to glue her down. Come on. Just so the glue is only going to be in this portion right here, like so. I didn't want any glue anywhere else. So when this folds up, she'll be folded inside there. She's not hanging over. I made sure that she wouldn't hang over anywhere. But then when I pop open my card, I probably should have put the base in first. That's all right. I'm doing things a little back backwards. I do have my sentiment here. I'm going to use You're Still a Spring Chick. And I'm going to stamp that with shaded spruce. Now, if I make a mistake on this, I can easily get a piece of white cardstock and stamp it again and cover my boo boo. But I want this to be. I think I want it down here. Oh, and I did kind of, okay. Now I can take this little chick and cover up that little mistake I made. So that's what I'm going to do. That way I don't have to worry about anything. Just trying about out of glue here. Oh, and I probably put it on the wrong side. And it's okay if it hangs over just a little bit off the card if she happens to, because I got an eighth of an inch to work with. There. Now I'm going to attach this one side first. Um, I'll start with the top. Now I want it to be as close to the center as I can. And because this gives me a little wiggle room, when I shut the card, it'll move it into place. Press it down. And it moved it crooked though. Ah, come on. Well, it's slightly crooked. I'm not going to worry about it. Everything's still hanging in there. Darn it. It shifted on me. And if I had used anything else. So now I'll apply my glue to this side. And then I'm going to pop this down on there. Give it a little bit of a rub. Now, when I open up my card, voila, and then I got a little wobbly chicken up there and a pop-up here, and I have my card in there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this card. Um, I will try and get measurements um, when I post this for the inside cuts and scoring. Anyway, um, thank you for watching, and... Um, Hope you have a very beautiful and happy March 1st. Thank you. Bye.